Hello, it's Paul from Thermical here. In this video, I'm going to go through the main update of this new EpiPro Thermical product database release. Um, first of all, we're going to start with the EC105 LS Leaf and Slide system. Um, currently, as you may already know, I have been quoting the Leaf and Slide doors for all the fabricators. But then with this new release, you will be able to quote the job um, yourself. Um, however, it's still in CKD flat pack service. Now, in the style folder, I've built few styles already ready to use, um, including fixed windows, tool panel leaf and slide door, three panel leaf and slide door, as well as the four panel door. Um, what you will have to do is simply double click or drag over on the screen change the size to the required size and then change the glass to the required glass type say and saving the job now the next product i would like to introduce is the top hand system that we have in the commercial product uh, now if you go to the styles folders of the center pocket and flashlight, you will find um, the top hand sliding product here, um, as well as in the flashlight product folder. Now I'm using the flashlight as just an example to show you uh, the top hand system. So this is just showing the top hand sliding door itself um, it can be used in the center pocket frame and it can be used with the flashlight system as well um, you can also of course use in other commercial frames to suit the specific project requirement um, basically this top hand system is capable of taking panel weight up to 400 kilograms Um, if you have any technical or design questions, you can always give us a call. Uh, we'll be able to help you out on the top hand system. Now, um, the next thing I would like to go through will be uh, one of the rubbers that we've changed in all the outwood opening products. Now, this new product is this V rubber here. Um, I've, I'm using the EC65TB as just example to show you what the rubber is. Um, the currently, you've got the outer frame is using the 3158. It's a bubble rubber. And previously, we were using the 02336 frame gaskets. Now, um, for the L opening windows, this new V shape rubber will be used. Um, however, in the inward openings, we're still using the 2336 frame gasket. Now, in EpiPro, this, uh, this has been applied to all the owl openings um, in the 45 series, 65, 75, and so on. Also, in the EC65TB, um, in the previous update, we've changed the sash profile for the owl opening windows. Um, the aluminium sections basically they remain the same, but the thermal break, as you can see here, this is the in opening sash. It's got a box thermal, uh, thermal break. And then in the owl opening sash, it's both flat thermal strip. Um, I just here in this video, I would like to mention this again, just so you don't order the wrong sash. The next thing I would like to go through is the update in the EC85 series. Um, basically, the, the main update is this profile here, the handle adapter for the casement windows. 
Now this one, this profile is required when you build a single panel casement like this. That's because the handle is very close to the uh, to the jam. That's why we have to introduce this additional adapter here to offset uh, the sash a little bit away from the jam for uh, extra room for the for the ha handle. Um, that's pretty much the main content of this um, new update. Now, what I would like to go through is a couple of things when um, building uh, the leaf and slide doors in the system as well as the commercial product. Now, um, as you've got these styles ready to use, um, when you have one like this on the screen and you're gonna save that in a job. Um, here in the hardware screen, you will have these options. The first one, uh, in the background, there's already some trolleys, uh, the default trolleys for uh, panels less than 300 kilos. Um, but then if you do have panels over over that uh, weight limit, you will need additional trolley to take the panel weight up to 400 kilos. Um, that's, that's just an option. Now the next one is the drive gear for 300 and 400 kilo options. Um, you will definitely, definitely need to pick one of these based on the weight of the panel. Um, also, it's just another reinforcement spring required if the panel weight is greater than 150. The last item here is the ventilation limiter. Basically, what this one does is it gives you um, the, the option of locking the door in different positions for ventilation purpose. Basically, this one here will be fitted to uh, to the corner here, so as you open the door, you can lock that in different positions for ventilation purpose. Um, so if you now move to the next page, um, obviously here you can pick the color of the job. Now, um, the handle of the leaf and slide door comes only in two different finishes. One is stainless steel. The other one is raw finish. Um, the raw finish you can color code to match the frame color, and usually for clear analyzing jobs, we use the standard steel finish. The next thing I need you to pay attention to is the labor time. The default labor time is for the CKD labor for thermocode to pro provide the door in flat pack. You will need to then allow your labor to assemble the door to pull all the hardware's, um, the handles, corner stakes, all that sort of stuff together. Um, you can put that under the assembly part or you can sim simply top up on the cutting. And then you can save that in the job. Now I'll just quickly calculate this item, optimize and also estimate to show you the uh, the quoting result. So this is the final estimating result. So
So here you will have the pricing of the material, uh, the finishing cost, fitting and rubber, and here that's your labor cost. So if you're gonna put any of the assembly labor here, you will show up here. Um, or otherwise, if you top up uh, with the cutting, and that will show you the total labor of that living slide door. And that's pretty much for the living slide door. Um, again, if you have any questions, give us a call. We will be here to help you out. Now, the next one I would like to go through is the commercial product. Um, I've got a couple of inquiries about um, building equal panel divisions in the commercial product. Now, um, the question was when they split the opening by inserting, for example, two mullions to split the frame equally, it, it doesn't actually give us equal panel divisions and the reason for that is because we have to enter in the profile in a certain order um, so I'll just quickly show you what I mean by that um, so if for example if I have opening 3 meters by 2 meters uh, now in the commercial product we will have to insert in the outer frame first um, so we'll have to insert in the jams first and then we put in the mullions to split the frame in equal divisions um, I think in the residential series what we've been doing is um, we build the outer frame and then we put the mullions in to split the frame in equal divisions but in the commercial we have to do uh, the frame and the mullion this way so you build the frame outer frame first and then you put the mullions in and then you put the rest of the frame in here as well Um, here I'll just use the copy and paste function to do the rest of the panel and I'm gonna save this one in the job I'll just run through this calculation and show you the result. <clears throat> right, um, as you can see here, it's given us um, three equal glass panels. Um, in that sort of sense, visually, these are three equal panels. And these are the glass size here. Now the next thing I would like to mention is the 400 series commercial door. We've done a little bit of a hardware update as well. So if you are going to build a, a commercial hinged door and you're going to save that in the job, it will give you the options to choose the hardware. Uh, now because it's a commercial door, there's a lot of hardware options um, to shoot various project requirements. So basically, here we've only entered in generic cylinder types um, as well as um, generic handle types. Now we do suggest you to use this 
particular local lock with a 38mm back set and 260mm steel cover plate. Um, that's because this lock suits into the profile um, quite nicely. However, if you can find other locks to fit in, you are more than welcome to use that. Um, now, Thermocol does sell the drop down seal for the commercial doors. Um, in this case, depends on what you want to do for the seal. Um, you have the option to choose one of them. Um, in terms of size, you have two size options less than three, uh, 900 mil and also 1100 mil. Um, basically, with this hardware, because uh, thermical, apart from the drop down seal, the rest of the stuff thermical doesn't supply. So, when you calculate the job, it won't give you the pricing, you will have to manually add in the price. And um, I think that's pretty much it for this update. I hope this video is. It's clear to you, yeah, it's an uh, easier in instruction to follow for the update. Um, if you have any questions, again, give us a call and then um, we can take from there. Uh, bye for now.